guys, welcome back to another video. As you can tell, we're in a different part of my room. I was actually getting ready to film a video today, and I realized that I'm very unorganized, kinda, in the point of I don't know what palettes are where, and I'm doing an eye look for the video that I was gonna do today, and I was starting to try to go through them to try to find one that I wanted to use and I realized there's a bunch of stuff that I no longer want. So I know just not that long ago I started doing a declutter but I feel like I need to buckle down and even then when I did my like going through my closet I didn't really film a like makeup declutter video so that's kind of what I want to do today. I'm going to start on eyeshadow palettes and we are going to go through them and determine what I want and what I don't want. I still have a ton of brand new palettes that I've never used that I know for a fact there's some of them that I don't want and a lot of other ones that have maybe been used once. So a lot more stuff is going to be up on my Poshmark Macari which is a link down below. But yeah, I think I'm going to do a declutter and then once I have everything a little bit more like laid out and organized, then I can go ahead and <sighs> start doing makeup looks and enjoying them more. So I'm going to move us over to the bulk of my eyeshadow palettes and then we can then move over to like the other parts of them because I've got a lot. So so this is kind of what we are working with. There's the dogs. But I have this whole basket full of eyeshadow palettes have never been touched. I have these two shelves of eyeshadow palettes that have been used probably only once. And then back here, this bottom shelf is full of palettes I haven't used either. So I think we are going to start with this basket first. Okay, so just going off the top here, let's move this. Oh, yep, and it's going to fall over. Okay, so some of these are still in their boxes even, but this is the ColourPop Poppy Palette. This has a lot of good neutrals in it and I know I really like color pops so that'll stay. This is the Lisa Frank Morphe palette. Now I'm gonna be honest this palette is not that ex exciting to me. It's very meh so I mean kind of what we were working with but growing up Lisa Frank was huge so this brings back a lot of nostalgia so I'm gonna keep it. What one is this one? I think I know why I kept this one, but I think I might get rid of it. So this is the Morphe 24A Artist Palette. Yeah, I am going to have to keep this because these glitters are amazing. This one has stars in it. More glitter. Okay, I'm keeping this one. But I'm going to get rid of all these boxes so I have more room. This is the ColourPop Mandalorian Palette. Pretty sure I'm going to keep this. Yeah, that's super cute. That's actually would be really cute for like a St. Patty's Day look. We have some greens, but they're not like super bright. I don't know. I really like that one. That's cute. And then I know I don't want this one. I can get rid of this one. This is, got this in an Ipsy box. I thought I wanted to keep this, but it's very like kind of basic warm tones with a pop of green. That one's a good one, but I'm going to get rid of it. I have this Tartlet Lit Toasted. Again, very neutral, very warm, but again, I have a lot of palettes like this. I'm going to get rid of this one. What's this one? This is a ColourPop pre-made palette. Very warm and neutral. I'm going to put this in the maybe. This is the On Cloud Blue palette. Oh, look at how gorgeous that is. I'm keeping this one. And then this is in a trance. See another palette that I'm going to grab next that I know I'm going to probably get rid of. Oh, look at how gorgeous that is. Yes. So I think I'm getting rid of the Blowing Smoke palette. Let me make sure though. So this is a Blowing Smoke. I had it back when it was Smoke Show. Yeah, these are the exact same palette. So I'll keep the Smoke Show because it's the original. But this is what that one looks like. Grays and blacks. Cute though. I'm going to put it back in its... If it has a box, it's going to get put back in its box just for like selling purposes. Get rid of that one. This is the Coral Coast. Again, oh, that is so pretty. Keeping this one. Pretty much almost anything ColourPop is going to stay. What's this one? This is the Yes Please. Hmm. I'm going to pass on this one just because I feel like it's so basic and neutral and I have something 
not multiple like it. This is another ColourPop palette. Ooh, I don't have anything like this. These are like gray, bluey purples into that. Oh, I get rid of the box. This is the Wild Nothing palette. Can you tell I like ColourPop? Oh, yeah, that's not going anywhere. Oh, that's so pretty. This was that TikTok palette that was everywhere. I'm still kind of curious, want to try it, so I'll keep it. I'm not gonna open it right now though. So this is another ColourPop palette. There was three in this set, I think. Ooh, yes. I can pass on this Tartlet Little Juicy palette. This is a Morphe palette. I can't remember exactly what this was. It definitely has a lot of good colors in there, but again, I feel like I already have these somewhere and I don't use colors that often unless it's for like a video. So I can pass on it. I got this Natasha Denona palette, mini palette in a Ipsy box or Boxy Charm. And I'm curious, I've never tried any Natasha Denona products. I'm gonna keep this one. This is the Elf Rescue Palette. More than anything, because part of the proceed goes to animal shelters, I'm gonna keep this one. I know I said I was gonna take them all out of the boxes, but eh, it's already a lot of work. All right, this one, hmm. This one's a maybe. I don't know how I feel about this one. And then there's this one. Ooh. Oh, this glitter. Look at this glitter. I'm going to keep this one. We have more of the tie-dye ones. I had planned that every time I'd gotten a launch, I was going to film, and then I just never did. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I'm keeping that. I really like the plastic containers of the ColourPop. I like, I mean, all of them are pretty much good, but ooh, yes. And this, I was collecting all of these BH Zodiac palettes. So I have a couple that I gotten that was just for like collecting more than anything. I have the Nikki Tutorials palette that I've never yet used. So pretty. What is this one by ColourPop? So again, this is another pre-made palette, but it's kind of gorgeous. I'm gonna keep it. What is this butterfly? A lot of good purples. I really like this glitter, but I wonder if that glitter is in another palette. It's called Overpacked. I'm gonna put this in the maybe. I wanna see if, because the only one I'd really wanna keep from this more than anything is this glitter here. Look at it. Come on, focus. But maybe this is the Give It To Me Straight palette. Yeah, I can pass on that one. What is this? This is the Alyssa Edwards palette. I'm going to keep it because I love my drag queens. What is this? This is the Violets from Profusion. I remember I kept it for this one shade up here, and that's why I didn't declutter it. Oh, it's still taped down, but this shade up here, but I'm going to declutter it now. Okay, this is a Morphe palette. This is the Natural Flirt. Yeah, I can pass on this one. I feel like this reminds me a lot of like one of my ColourPop like Bare Necessities or Stone Cold palette. So I'll pass on that one. This is the Nikita palette. <sighs> See, I don't want this palette except for this one shade. Let me show you this shade though. Like look at this. Like the camera won't even focus, but like look at the purple, the green, teal. I, I have to keep it for that shade though. I don't have anything like that. This is the cake palette. I don't know why I still have this. Never used it. Still in its plastic wrap. Yeah, there's not any shades on here that I like from seeing the back that I just need in my life. This is the Candy Lingen palette. So I did not see good reviews on this. In all honesty, I don't love it. However, me and my grandma used to play Candy Lingen together all of the time. So this again has like a nostalgic tie for me. So I'm going to keep it. Next, I have this Cinderella palette by I Heart Resolu Revolution. I really like this palette, but I think I can get rid of it. I don't need this one. This is the Rock Beauty Christie palette with ColourPop. I'm going to keep this one. Look at how pretty that is. I'm going to do a quick battery swap just because 
my battery was dead. All right, so we have a mini. This is a makeup obsession palette, which I think is like a makeup revolution sister brand. Look at how cute and tiny that is. I'm gonna keep it because it's a little compact. I have a couple more of those that we will end up finding. So this is a hip dot. This is the, the mauve palette. Like, so this shade here is gorgeous, but I'll pass. I have too many like mauve -y palettes already. And then this is their witchy warms which I already can, yeah, I can go ahead and declutter this one as well, which Hip Dot is such a good brand though. Moving on, I have the Whatever palette by ColourPop. Yeah, we can declutter this one as well. I impulse buy way too much. This is the Milan ColourPop palette. I'm more than likely going to keep this one just because, again, Disney holds a dear place in my heart. Yeah, I don't really need this, but again, it's more of a nostalgic thing. This is another Hip Dot palette. This is the Nude palette. Oh, oh my god, look at these glitters. Oh, I'm going to set this aside for today's potential look. And another, I bet this is all glitters too. Oh my god, yes. Again, I'm going to set this one aside too. Oh, I love these glitter Hip Dot palettes. This is the Kimchi Make Me Happy palette. Ooh, this shade up here is really pretty, but I feel like I definitely have something similar enough to that. I can declutter this one. And then this is the Drama Queen. This is a highlighter palette. Why is it in with my eyeshadows? I saw this online and it was sold out for like the longest time. So as soon as it came back in stock, I really wanted to get it. This shade. Like look at this one and I could probably get away with this one. Oof, so pretty. We have the Urban Decay Stoned Vibes palette. Let's see this one. First of all, this packaging is so freaking cool. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. Ah, uh, wait, hold on. I think I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile for now, but like, it's pretty cool. Next, we have some Norvina palettes. I originally wanted to collect all of these, but I don't use ABH enough to justify that. So this is a mini palette. I don't know. We can get rid of this one. Am I gonna regret it? Maybe, but it'll be fine. And then we have the Soft Glam palette. Do I need this one? Let's see. Ooh, this was that velour one. Oh my God, it's broke. Well, that's cute. I'll have to press that down. I guess I'll keep this one because it's broke. Well, crap. We have another mini Makeup Obsession palette. Oh, so cute and tiny and dainty. And then another Norvina palette. I could use that for Valentine's Day and like these two glitters are really pretty. I'm gonna set this one into the maybe. So I'm obsessed with this because this gives me very 80s vibes. I don't love this color story though. Let's put this in the maybe. Next we have the big palettes. So this is the volume three. All of these neons are super, super cool. Let's put it in the maybe. This is the volume one. I don't really use enough purples. I'm gonna pass on this one, which is funny because purple eyeshadow makes my eyes look the best. This is the volume two. Again, this has so many like neons and stuff. I'm gonna pass on it though. And then we have the volume four. This one, however, is up my alley. So we have this one compared to, Oh, well, if I had to choose between the two, I'd choose this one, the pink one. So we'll get rid of this one then. I need to be more picky about my stuff. And I'm going to set this one aside as well for potentially today's look. All right. And then last but not least in this tote anyways, is the Raw Beauty Christie Pure Palette. It's got nude on one side and colors on the other. Colors and nudes. I'm going to keep this one. I love Raw Beauty Christie. She's just like not fake and she's very honest. I like that. I'm gonna put all my trash in this bin for now. Let's quickly go through my maybe pile so far. So we have six palettes here. We have the stoned palette. I'm gonna keep this. The flutter. I need to find this glitter still so I need to set that back side. Noir. I'm gonna keep. And this color pop pre-made. I'm gonna pass. Then we have these two Norvina minis. So again I love these glitters so I'm gonna keep this. And then this one, hmm, I'm gonna keep it. All right, now, oh, these are palettes that I 
I know I really like and are pretty reliable. So this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons. This look, this has just a lot of good neutrals. I know it's reliable and I really like it. We have the Andrezi ABH palette. I'm obsessed with this palette. So good, keeping that. Then we have this Marvina palette. Again, just so good, so reliable. I'm gonna keep it. We have the Laura Lee Nude 2. Surprisingly, I love this palette. I didn't love the first Nudie Patootie whatever palette, but this one is really good. And then if I want colors, this ColourPop palette has like everything I could ever want in it. Love this. We have the Making Mauves. Such a good mauve palette from ColourPop. We have the Tartlet in Bloom. So good. Like this shimmer shade down here is amazing. This is a Motives Cosmetics palette. Again, just so basic, so reliable though, and this shimmer shade is so good. Then we have the Tati Beauty. Yeah, this palette is gorgeous. Then I have my Bare Necessities. Love this palette. She is very much loved. And then I have the Stone Cold Fox palette. Again, such a good palette. Love it. Now, I don't really have a good place for it. So these are also in this tote here are all my face palettes. So this is a Physicians Formula blush and bronzer palette. I do really like this one. This is the BH blushing and Bally. I can declutter this one. Then we have some Morphe palettes. What are these? This is a blush palette and get rid of this one. I have this highlight palette, I'm obsessed with this highlight. And it's got some good bronzers in there too. And some blush, like I like this palette. This one will stay. This one, again, just super good. Super basic though, keeping it though. And then I have these Revolution Patricia Bright palettes. So I have two of them here. So this one's been used, this one hasn't. I'll get rid of this one. This is Emotive Cosmetics. She's been used, she's not bad. This e.l.f. highlighter pack, so good. Love these shades. This is my Tarte Princess, or Parkway, Park Avenue Princess. Again, such good bronzers. I have my Revolution X Sophia highlighter palette. Love these highlighters. I've got the Too Faced Coco Contour palette. Again, love these. This is my Tartlet, Tart, Tartlet blush palette. I really like this. This is my NYX contour palette. I really like this palette, actually. I'm gonna keep this, even though she's a little old. This is my Glazed palette by Laura Lee. I definitely am obsessed with this shade, so I'm gonna keep it. It's a little dark for me, so to be very careful with that one. Then I have this Revolution palette. Like, oh, those are gorgeous. Then I have these Tartlet blush contour and highlight packs. I don't know about this one. What about the, what's this one look like? So this one, I like the blushes on a lot. I will keep it. This can go in my blush drawer because this is all blush. So it says that this is a blush too, but this is just like a highlight. It almost looks like a bronzer. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I have my Lunar Beauty blush palette. I love this blush, blush palette. It's so freaking good. And then I have my Trixie Cosmetics blush palette. I love this and I was waiting so long for it to come back in stock. Then we have this Smashbox contour. I do like this one. It's a little bit cool tone, but I mean it's contour, not bronzer, so. And then lastly, my Hourglass. I wanna play with this more. I want to like this because it's really expensive and I've heard amazing things about these illuminating setting powder things. So I'm gonna keep it. Moving along. We will start from this bottom row up. So got my handy dandy rag here because everything's just kind of covered in dust. I can already tell you we'll quickly go through these color pops. I'm gonna keep all of them though. The smoke show or blowing smoke now. The ooh la la which is this pink one which um I wish I'd seen this the other day, I would have then used it for Valentine's Day, but I'm gonna still set this one aside. This is the Mar palette, like that. The Lilac You A Lot palette. 
they're just so good and compact. Like, I really enjoy them. The Strawberry Shake. I'm going to set this one aside. The Soul Palette. And the Orange You Glad Palette. Oh, look at this glitter, though. Yes. Okay, moving along. I have this Maybelline Palette. I have, I have too many that look like this. This can go. I have this Brown Sugar Palette by ColourPop. She's going to stay. Then I have these Mini Revolution Palettes. This is like a nude one. This red one's broken. This pink one and the purple one. I'm going to keep all of these. I have these NYX foils. I'm going to keep these. I love the NYX foils. Another NYX foil. Take this out of the box. Then let's pull from the back. So I have this Profusion Festival palette. She can go. This Zodiac palette by ColourPop. She is going to stay. I love Zodiac collections. This is the e.l.f. 18 Hit palette. She can go. These are the Bretman Rock ColourPop palettes. This is Lit. And this is Wet. Also keep. These are the Profusion. They look like cassette tapes. I'm going to let go of all of them. This is the Mobs palette. This one's hard. It has a lot of really good like shimmers like this one and this one. This will be a maybe. Then we have this Fenty Beauty palette. I really like this color story and I really want to try it. I'm going to keep it. This is the Smoke Sessions palette by Melt Cosmetics. I really, really like this palette. Keeping it. This is a Hip Dot palette. Hmm. This one I can let go of. And then there's this one. This one I want to keep. Like, those brights are kind of amazing. We have a e.l.f. palette. These are baked. I'm going to let it go. I have the, some giant palettes back here. So this is the... Holy cow. This is the Revolution Massive palette. She can go... However, I do want to keep this Kaleidoscope palette because, like, these shimmers down here are really gorgeous. Okay, next. We're making progress. We're making progress. So I love glitter. So, unfortunately, not going to get rid of any of these. I already know it. So these are the Profusion glitters. Actually, you know what? If I can find these glitters in these, then I'll get rid of this one. So we need a nice silvery one. Matched. Found it. Cool. The blue. Can't find the blue. There's a, like another silvery one. That, that doesn't match though. Found a similar enough blue though. Um, and then there's this like. And I found that one. Okay this will go. Because I found all the glitters in these small ones. And then I have this little mini collection down here. Of Revolution palettes. Let's see if I want them. So this one is all of their neutrals. This one is all of their purples. Greens. Blues. Pinks reds, blacks, and more pinks. Okay, so there's eight here. Now, I'm going to set these aside and I'll tell you why. We're going to move up to this row. So I'm going to take a stack and we'll go through. So this is the Morphe, what palette is this one? 9D. She can go. This is the All That. She can go. And these are, I still have like this chunk this chunk over here hasn't been touched yet either. So like these palettes that I'm pulling currently have still never been used. This is the another ColourPop palette. She can go. 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 What's this ColourPop one? She can go. I have this Revolution palette. All brights. She can go. So I have my ColourPop Sailor Moon palette. This is the replacement one that they sent me. So it has not technically been used yet. But she's keeping. I have this Revolution palette. She can go. I have this palette that my friend Katie had gotten me. Color story doesn't really appeal to me that much, but it's Nickelodeon, so she's definitely staying. Then, I have these color books by Revolution, right? I think I'm going to get rid of all of these eights, because I bet I have all the colors in here. I'm going to look quickly. So I have a gray and black one. I have an orange and brown one. I have a red and yellow and orange one. I have a pink and purple one. And I have a green and blue one. So I have like every color I could ever want in these. So I'm going to keep these but get rid of all of these. So I have these Revolution Jack Skellington palettes. Again, more than I have used these. And I will link the video whichever way it is. But I'm going to keep these just because again it's more nostalgic than anything. And then I have this BH Cosmetics Crystals palette. I do quite like this. I'm going to keep this one. I have that Ciate London 
palette that I just got that I really like. I'm gonna keep it. Have I used this? I have my Nintendo palette. Did not like the formula, but again, nostalgic. I have this ColourPop palette that I made. So I have my contour, blush, highlighter, and some shadows. I'm gonna keep this. Don't love these two shades for me. I thought I did at the time, but kind of gotten more into makeup and realized what I like better. And then this is my ColourPop glitter palette. Oh, look at all these glitters. They're so gorgeous. This one broke and is kind of all over this quadrant, but love her. This, what is this? This packaging is cool. Oh, this was, is this, tar yeah, this is a Tarte palette. I have used this. I do like it. It's pretty bulky though. I have this Urban Decay story that I really, really like. It's just this packaging is so big. Why is it so big? All right, I'm going to quickly put my stuff back up here, and then we will move along to the next shelf. So these are all palettes I've not yet used. I'm going to go ahead and quickly put them down here. I've decided to go ahead and get rid of this Mauve's palette. Okay, last shelf is this one up here. And they're all palettes I've used at least once. So we have the Jaclyn Hill palette from my last palette of the week video. I'm gonna keep it. We have some ColourPop palettes. We have the Cloud Spun, which I just used recently. Really, really like this one. We have my Hello Kitty, which I really like. Going Coconuts is a fantastic one. Some more ColourPop palettes. So we have the uh -huh, or um pal or uh honey uh huh honey palette. Keeping that, the it's my pleasure. Oh my god, no! This shade fell out. Okay, we need to fix her. I'm gonna be careful with her. Then we have the just my luck great green palette. And the mint to green, mint to mint to be is so pretty too. The baby got peach. Love this palette. So nice. Then we have the main squeeze great palette. We have the green I Heart Revolution palette, the BH Cosmetics, Zodiacs. I really do enjoy these palettes though. The blue one was so nice. Oh, all three of those. Okay. ColourPop, she's got Solace. I did really like that one. The Equinox. This is a Laura Lee single shadows, but I put it in my Tarte little metallic magnetic thing. I have not yet used these. This does not need to be up there. I have the Revolution like weed palette. I like this one. The Garden Variety, really enjoyed this one. This is the Truly Madly Deeply. Gorgeous palette, like these glitters, oof. This is the Morphe Pride palette. I did like this one. This is the Sophie X Revolution palette. It was okay, I'll keep it for now. The Disney Princess palette, love that one. Another Zodiac, Disney Villains, Hocus Pocus. This Hocus Pocus palette is really nice. This is the Kimchi palette. I really like this one. I'll keep it for now. This is her original palette. We have the Just Peachy Mattes. Love this formula. Love this palette. The Little Ray Sunshine. Loved, love, love this. The Blue Moon. Great. Hip Dot Glitters. This is actually the Meatball palette. Yeah, Meatball. And then just some glitters, because you know I love my glitters. Love them. And then I have this Morphe palette that are single shadows. I don't think I have I ever used this. Yeah, those do not look used. My is this my original? Yeah, this is the original Zodiac palette. And then the Love Signs Zodiac palette. This is the NYX Swear By It palette. I think I've used it once. I'll get rid of this one. This is the Revolution Patricia Bright palette. And this is the bright one. What is the other one? The other one is even brighter. I'm gonna keep this one, but get rid of this one. I have that giant palette that went on in TikTok. It's got so many gorgeous glitters in it though. Like that's the only reason why I can't get rid of this. I have not yet tried it. I have my James Charles palette. It's good, I'll keep it. I have the Midnight Masquerade Disney palette. My color palette. I have the Sandstone. I'll get rid of this one. And then the Blue Revolution. 
So I'm gonna get rid of the, I'm gonna keep this. So I can't quite find this exact shade, but I'm gonna get rid of this one again. And then the soft glam I need to press down. So this is all my palettes I've not yet used with a couple up here, just like a little bit, but cool. So now we have this basket of trash over here is just trash. I don't have to put any shadows in there. Really quickly, I'm going to move everything back around so I have room. And then we are going to tackle another eyeshadow drawer. So we have a lot of stuff going on over here. Let's see if I can, it's a little bit better. But this entire drawer here is all eye stuff. Eye, loose eyeshadows, single eyeshadows, palettes. So we're gonna go through this quickly. I know that this one should be fairly easy. God, I don't even wanna do this because it took forever to put all this stuff in. Okay, so I have my new ColourPop, like small palettes. I know I'm gonna keep all of these. That's taupe palette, keeping that. Oh, how did lip stuff? down here i have this that's dope palette keeping that this is the mama mitchell palette <sighs> i didn't want to like this one has a removable mirror which i think is pretty cool i'm gonna keep it i have all these i'm keeping all my color pop single shock shadows and stuff so i'm not even gonna mess with the singles today i already know i'm keeping all of them this is the scorpio palette and again, collecting all of my Zodiacs, Libra, and Sagittarius. I have all of the bite size e.l.f. palettes, keeping these. I have those mini palettes from Makeup Obsession. I don't know why these aren't with the other ones. They're just those tiny bite size ones. I'm not going to take it. Oh, is this one? Yeah, this one's already ripped. That's fine. This is the Melt Cosmetics Millennial Palette. That's gorgeous. Milk Cosmetics 420. I have these Hip Dot palettes. These are their Tabasco palette. Look at this orange glitter. I have this BH Cosmetics Switzerland palette. I don't love this, but it's Switzerland, so I kind of wanted to keep it. Then I've got more of these mini palettes. I'm not going to take these all out of the boxes. What is this? Oh, this isn't even an eyeshadow. What is this? A blurring balm. Ooh, ooh, a new primer. Okay, we have the Blush and Crush and the Nude Mood. This is the Sweet Talk palette. I can get rid of that one. This is the So Jaded. I really like this one. The It's All Good. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. <laughs> and then the Jacqueline Hill Volume 1. We'll get rid of this one. Mm, yeah. And then the rest of all these are just single shadows. So I am done going through all of those palettes. It was a lot. So I'll let me show you what I'm getting rid of of just palettes alone. I did kind of organize them up, but I have all of these. So quite a few. And then that's my trash box. And then my palette section over here looks a lot better. And then I have that one drawer still, but that's all I've got for this video. We are not done. I still have every other category to go through still. This is just palettes. Like I said, since I'm doing an eye look today, I wanted to know what I had 
so I knew what I wanted to pull. But that's it for this video. Stay tuned for more declutters. And all of this stuff will be listed on my Poshmark and Macari. Yeah, everything's linked down below. Till next time, guys.